I love competitive games so much, and particularly solo queue, because it's very much an emotional battle. You're battling other people's tilt in a way, which has actually been a huge, I'd say, issue for me. Oh, can I show you the 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 mount? Yeah, we we ride it on our ETC actually. Uh, let's see where we're going first. Let me do the bands here, and I'll, I'll highlight it. We might even play ETC here. Or second pick. Uh, Infernal Shrines is okay. Diablo is just real good right now. Brood is Brood Lord. We need him. Make it a skin, right? Uh, what was I talking about? Starcraft. Oh my god, we got busy. Uh, Starcraft? I don't remember anymore. <laughs> but they changed Stora? Okay, so they changed Swarm Hosts. I'm picking last. You got this? Okay. Wait, Stark Runner? That's not Stark Stark, is it? Showing off the mount. Thank you. That's one of the things we plan to do. I do need to make sure I stay on my hero-specific mount. But I believe it's in Beasts. And it's a re this thing right here. If you can see it, the tiger with the sunglasses. We'll give it a spin when the game is over. <laughs> it's outrageous, and I'm pretty sure it's a Tiger King reference. Because, you know, the world needed, needed that in game. But it's outrageous. Little Malfury in here? Sure. Okay. Actually, I might be riding the very, uh, the very beast himself. That's great. I'll have to jump back in Starcraft. Oh, okay. Cassia, that's fine. We can CC a Cassia. I bring the mega death. Cool, we will be on the very mount we've spoken of. I stand ready. Well, let's see what they do. Oh, well, thanks for joining Mad Walrus. It was good seeing you. Deckard, mm-hmm. Deckard's nuts right now. Not just the rubies, but the stay a while business. For the next... That's what I was talking about. Coordinated play. In NGS, uh, Heroes League in particular, or Heroes Lounge, it's been a real learning process knowing that the enemy's not going to tilt. Because when you're winning really hard, in solo queue, the enemy team stops fighting, or you can, like, demoralize them, or you get a really good mosh pit, and they're all, like, running around in circles being like, oh, we suck, oh my god, my team sucks, type, 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 type. But in coordinated play, they don't do that. You can't tilt them. You can't get in their heads. You don't have a slow moral victory over the course of the game a lot of the time, because they keep fighting. So, like, last night on the Dragonshire, I had my team push in with our, well, I think it was the first dragon. It was a pretty late first dragon, like, 17 minutes or something like that, but still. We pushed in, we got the keep, and I was like, yeah, let's stick around. They're probably, in my head, I'm like, they're, they're probably going to give up, right? Because Storm League people would give up if you took a keep with your first dragon. Right wing, eh, that's okay. Oh, wait, did I type it wrong? I, will not I may have typed it wrong. Let me make sure I got that right. Sometimes I do the exclamation point backwards. There we go. No, I got I, it. I, 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 yeah, <laughs> you're welcome, Funky. Garrosh. That's okay. We have some good disengages. Travel pants. Uh... Cool, Dan. I don't know. I've seen I've seen Brightwings just own Garoshes before. That'll be a little trouble for me, the Thrall. They're really good at locking down where I want to slide. And they banned Sonya. That sucks. Because I love a camp taker. It's like they play Alarak. Oh, okay. It was a good game. It, it was a really good series. I really appreciate all the teams that have scrimmed against us. 
I'd be curious to see what our current team would do, or how our current team would do against those first few matches we fought when I was solo lane. How much we've changed. Coffee did amazing on Zeratul in game one of that series. It was a really cool go. And it kind of inspired people to kind of work on their mains a little bit, which was very nice. I'm curious to see where we go when... I, keep, I don't know her name out loud, but Jara rejoins. Because she can also play a little bit of solo lane, so we'll be able to get Breakwood here and there as an assassin. Alright, so we got... Cassia, Orphea... Hmm. Ten seconds hmm. remain. Five, I think we're gonna auto attack. Three, we could block party, and I guess that would mess with Orpheus self healing a little bit. But otherwise, they don't have a Rainer. Or, or no, are they auto attacking Cassia? No, she's Q build actually. Okay. Right, I can always recover from a throw if he's here. He is not. Everybody recovered just fine. There's probably a Gary Toss looking this way. Something's going on down there. Do I need to interrupt something? A rotate? Now it looks like we're good. Okay. I can actually beat Thrall in lane, I believe. With an auto attack build, or at least the old auto attack build could. Alright. This is solo queue. Something, they're really swarmy down here. We can miss a little bit of XP. Even if it's just for a decent little shot there on Deckard. There goes Gul'dan. Now, I'm glad you guys have been enjoying the, the series and, and the content for the stream, too. It's been nice to be able to do that. And uh, I really appreciate the invite from Kai Berries, who led to the whole thing getting going. Ah, poop, I got my team killed. Hey, Requiem. Yeah, and that's with random people, too, so I don't really know what they pick, but that's kind of the fun of the Bonanza, right, is that I don't really know what's going to happen. Sometimes we get to pick some really off-pick stuff, try some weird stuff. <laughs> Just, she's kind of sticking around. Taking a chance there. Could we put a camp? I don't think we can focus fire it fast enough. Cool Dan stuck bottom. Which is gonna delay us. Garrosh, oh my goodness, he's going really deep, and oh, they got Brightwing. Can I maybe enable my team to get something else, perhaps? Or is this just gonna be a dead me? I did dodge Orphea there. I want them to do that camp down there. Do we have Monster Hunter? We do. Cool. Because we're in no rush. We can put Dahaka bottom. There's Cassia. They're at six at the moment. 
All right, I'm going to get in there and disrupt a little bit. Stoppable, throwing buddy out. That's really close. I do have a well. Camp's going mid. This is good. We complete the Decker kill. It's not always easy. Can I kill Orphea by chance? Ugh. I gotta wiggle, 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 wiggle. Nope, nope, no wiggles allowed. We have a... Uh, Deckard's already back up. Okay. Not happening today. I think we got a center wall, right? No, what? That thing farted off real bad. Bummer. Okay, not too bad, though. Vala's getting some good damage. She's getting stacked. Yep, 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 yep. I don't know where Gul'dan was during all that, and that's probably my bad, that poor Gul'dan. Okay, XP is being made in the middle. Uh, other than stay a while and stuff, I don't think we're overall too concerned about mosh pit. Uh oh, bummer. Oh, ghoulie duels. Yeah, is it the rubies? I would love a greater visual on the rubies. It'd be a a good thing to have. Just because they're so important. It's like right wing got that. I'm stuck top right now. We got a clean mid. I'm soaking top. Which I'm not the best at right now, given my build. They're all gonna push in middle. There's gonna be another another wave coming too before I even get a chance to finish this next wave. But let's group up just in case. That's a good point. He did go block. Interesting. I guess there's a Vala. Is it seconds of block or stacks? Two stacks. Huh. I'm going to step off it in case anybody's down to delay. All right. Let's go get with Vala and I'll stick my face in all the dangerous things. I gotta stick my face in this because I don't want her getting ganked. Okay, there's Gary. We're good. We're gonna need Vala though. Choose a talent. Loose the 
What's she doing? Clear out top. It looks like Vala is pushing. Push into the final moments. He's still gonna fall asleep when he gets up is the problem. Okay, we're waiting around on another engage. There's a thrall. That's gonna be a pretty big interrupt, but... We got another mosh pit. I just gotta survive the walk home. Urgh, Cassia. Bummer. I guess Gul'dan died again. Gonna jump soon, but... That's new Encore for ya. Oh no! <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, oh, really? With the Cassia busy? Oh, bummer. Alright, well, let's just... Oh no, they're they're actually pushing in. I mean, it's interesting. You know, maybe we favor favor doing some Deckard picks until he's shored up a bit. And we'll get... Did we get Manticore? And now we're just siphoning arrow. Yeah, we need 16. I am proud of our little angles, though, we're making. We're doing a cool job kind of riding out the back rather than just getting tossed by Gary. Turned up to 11. Gonna be another wave... I think Dahaka kind of lost their main pick with the with the Sonya, sadly. Everybody's slow. Gul'dan's out. Okay, we're okay. But we gotta stop mid. Oh, he got it. Nice. I can let somebody else clear that. While I deal with bottom. Oh, Brightwing's heading in, actually. Yeah, they didn't think I'd be here, but I am. Two, three. Three seconds, one second on the Deckard slide. Oh my goodness, it's Deckard. He's so hard to kill.
<laughs> oh wow, she's still going despite uh, being blind as heck. All right, auto attack, do your thing. I do want to take the team into quick match and just kind of do some weird comps. I think that'd be beneficial because often we're trying so hard to win that we don't try out a lot of new things. I'm going to be really low on mana. And the worst thing we can do right now is just die. Cool, we get an orb down here. Right, Zarko? It, it took forever! Sadly, I do not have the mosh ready yet. We need to go farm some encores. Dying pretty fast. Okay, that'll be the mosh ready. Okay, that's the cutoff. I think we just do death metal. Since this is anybody's game right now. Oh, well, welcome to you. I'm glad you enjoyed the videos. I just made a chromie one today. That'll go post in Monday. We want to pick a 20 fight, and I want Vala in range of me to do it. She is in range. Oh, that worked out. Good Vala having eyes for me. That 8% is 0.8%, 8 right? It's, it's intense, particularly on a hero that just has so much to do with his... with his cooldowns, how much management there is on the ability historically. I mean, we could say at this point everyone knows about Moshpit, so maybe maybe it is time that we allow it to be cast more often, but it's pretty crazy, and it, it's leading to us playing a little silly because we're farming hits on people and being like, oh, okay, well, I'm going to walk forward and do a face melt that has no meaning. Let me, let me get a cooldown reduction here. But it's also really fun. I was talking right before the buff hit how much I want to use amp just because it's a fun ability. Regardless of if it actually did anything other than the amp. Problem is in solo queue, you would just end up hitting things and making people miss their skill shots. So it wasn't very useful. And now all of a sudden with more moshes, it's absolutely worth it. I'm going to see if I can sit in this bush, maybe, and catch somebody rotating. So it happened. It, yeah. Barely was in the bush for half a second, and they did exactly what I wanted. The Haka is kind of getting forward. That's fine. I don't have a mosh though, so I'm gonna do the old farm and moshes. Oh uh, yeah, we we have time before Thrall is up. I'm worried about Garrosh being in range of the wall there. Ooh, nice fear. Okay, 
fantastic stagger there. The thing is, it's still going. Like, we still have Hammer on under our full health bar. So we're still critting on all these things. I mean, ETC auto-attacking every time for 305. That's, that's pretty cool. Granted, I'm sure my friends would love me to, you know, help them out a little bit. Give them some block or some healing. Uh, where's Gary? He's chasing Dahaka. Oh my goodness, it removes the... Wow, I didn't realize it removed the 8 second force cooldown after an interrupt. There's a Cassia. And we do have a double catapult coming in bottom, so basically our job here is to be really calm. And just take it slow. I need to make sure Vala does okay. Oh, good taunt. Deathmosh, though, holds everybody off. They got a spread for the 20. Yes, I am crazy about auto attacks. That's kind of one of my that's one of my many features on my character sheet. Just nuts about auto attacks. Oh, Dahaka! He's got a he's got a cat a hit catapult. Nice. Okay, they'll be locked in their base. A Diablo, a ETC, a a Tyrael. Uh. I like that talent on Johanna and Zuljin, where you AA things. Big flex. I mean, why work harder when you can just right-click people, right? That's why I played Spirit Breaker in Dota <laughs> back in the day. And Bloodseeker, and you know, I, I I really enjoyed Knights. Light Knight Stalker was awesome. There's a lot of heroes I really liked in Dota. Broodmother. Now I'm just naming random heroes. That has nothing to do with AA. Let's wait for Vala. She's gonna hearth. How long we got? 31 seconds up there. I could get myself in trouble if I overextend too much. Here comes my damage, folk. But I still need people in range. That would have been decent. But I want them to push up. Oh, hey, A-Move TV. How you doing, Garrett? And yeah, good interrupt, Gary. Okay, that camp technically isn't with us yet. Dahak is doing another camp. That's going to clear the Kata. We don't really have an advantage. Let's just if we can we can just win with some autos with the auto ATC. 
<laughs> Just going in. I've got the core. No worries, lads. Maybe there was a, you know, there's people who helped out too. There was probably other people doing it too. All them autos. Welcome to you, sexy ferret. Damn right. Garrett showed just up in time. We lost earlier. Don't tell Garrett. But he was here. He was here to see it. Hit it with your axe? Or your gun axe? 